Hi everyone, I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. I'm a Dixie Belle content creator um, and I'm over in the UK. Um, I'm just popping on, this is my first live in the group so go steady with me, um, be gentle. Um, I've done a few lives on my own page but I've not been on the group so far but I am planning to come on regularly from now on. Um, I will sort of be attempting to come on weekly um, at a set time but at the moment um, it's all a bit over the place because I'm moving house um, next week and so I've been packing everything up and just life's a bit hectic. But um, anyway, I thought I'd pop on quickly today to show you what I'm up to. Um, this piece behind me is a solid pine chest of drawers. Obviously I do have the drawers over there, um, but I haven't got them, yeah, I haven't managed to boss them and prep them. So we're just starting with the body of the, the chest of drawers today. Um, as you can see, because it's solid pine, um, it might stay, I'm using some light colours, so I have already applied two coats of Dixie Belle's Boss in white. Um, I've used the white because I want it to just, I wanted to lighten the wood ready for the paint. Now, my plans with this one is, I really am excited to use the new Boho Soul Transfer. So I've picked out some of the colours, um, there's some pinks in there and some light sort of blues and turquoises. So what I'm doing today is applying a base coat of mint julep, um, but I want it to be quite textured so I'm going to add some sea spray. I've never actually used this colour before but it's gorgeous, look. Um, and I, then so this is going to be the base coat. Like I say, I'm going to texture it with some sea spray. I'll mix that shortly. And then once that's all dry, I've got all of the pinks. Um, got some what's that? Soft pink, apricot, some pink champagne, which is a really light pale pink, and I've got tea rose, which is my favourite. Um, so I'm going to be applying those over the mint julep. And I'm going to be using, I'll show you that again, I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing that, whether that'll be on this group or whether it'll be over on my page at Cherub's Chalks Interiors. So if you want to go and give me a follow, then you will catch whatever I'm doing. Um, yes, I'm going to be applying them with a sponge, um, with a sort of a technique, I don't know how to, how to describe it. It's sort of a mottled technique with all the different pinks, so they're all showing through, so um, that'll be the next process after the, the base coat's been on. Then I'm going to use the pearlescent glaze, which is really pretty over the top. And what I'm most excited about, obviously I'll be using the transfer, but once that's all on and everything, um, I'm going to be using the chameleon waxes. I don't know if you've seen these, they're beautiful. Um, but I just haven't had the right project for them yet. So we've got the apricot, the lilac, and the cactus. So this is like the greeny color. The apricots a peachy pink. I haven't got my tin opener, otherwise I'd show you them typically. And then the lilac. I think that they will all go really nicely with the, the colours that I'm using from the Boho Soul Transfer. I don't know if anybody's commenting, but I can't see. Um, if you are, hang on. I've not, I've not done a live on this group before, so I don't know what I'm doing. That's not very clever of me, is it? Why can't I see comments? Maybe nobody's talking to me. I don't know. No, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> As I say, you'll have to bear with me. No. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. So say hi if you are watching. Um, as I say, I need to figure out what I'm doing on here because I can't see anything. And um, if you do ask any questions, and if I can't see them on here, then I will come back to them later on and make sure I answer all of your questions. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out. Somebody needs to show me what to do. <laughs> okay, as I say, I'll come back to any, any questions later on. So, what I'm doing first is mixing. See, so I haven't even opened this. I'm not very prepared today. As I say, I'm in the middle of moving and packing and <sighs> everything's everywhere. So, 
I just sort of mix this by eye and then I see how thick it is. I want quite a thick um, paint texture because I want it to sort of show through nicely. I want a lot of texture in this piece. I'm going to put the pinks on top. Sorry, I'm just really confused why I can't see comments. Normally when I do them on my page I can see them, but never mind. So I'm just um, going to mix this, so you can't see. I need quite a bit of paint, so it's thick. Just give it a stir. So obviously, as I say, I've got the drawers over there. I'll be um, sorting them out later on. I just want to get the base coat on today because with the sea spray thickening it up, it will take a little while to dry. And obviously I can't apply the next coat of paint until this is all dry. So um, I'm pouring. So I want to get, get it done before I move house. Um, I like to wait overnight, sort of between each each part of it. So obviously, as I say, I'll apply this today. And then possibly tomorrow, if I get time. What day is it? Tomorrow, Friday. Um, I'll come on and start doing the pinks, and then I'll wait again another day before I apply the the boho soul transfer. Um, and then I'll be sealing that with a clear coat, um, not sure whether I'll use satin or flat. Okay, so I'll open up the sea spray. I use this a lot and I run out of um, I run out of it and I know I needed it for this piece so I had to do a, an emergency order. Always tricky to get into, I should have done this before I came on live, shouldn't I? really cold in here today as well although it's really sunny outside I don't know where you guys are why can't I get into this my hands are really cold so <laughs> right, I'm just some scissors. this is because I'm not prepared I should have been more prepared um going to mix this and see the consistency of it. There are instructions, um, I think it says to mix two level scoops with, I think it's eight ounces of paint, um, but I'm never that organised as you can probably tell already. To, um, to be weighing it out. So, it's quite thick. Not quite thick enough. Oh, now I can see comments. Hi, Linda. I'm just, I've just said, this is my first live on this group, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I'm just winging it, just going with it. Right, that's gonna need another scoop of sea spray. Oh, probably will need some more paint when I'm doing the whole piece. Just mixing it up, making sure that it's all nice and mixed in because we don't want any lumps. You can see now it's really thickening up. How are you, Linda? What are you doing today? Are you working on anything? What day is it? It's Thursday. You won't be in the bar tonight, will you? Hi, Pam. Thanks for joining me. Right, 
is really thick now. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a little bit more paint. But this is the beauty of it, you know, you could just sort of mix it up and work with it. Pam, what time is it where you are? Because um, obviously I'm in the UK, it's about half eleven here, but is it much earlier there? I get really confused with the time difference. Right, now I've got an old brush. Um, I don't want to use one of my nice Dixie Bar brushes with this really. If I had some of the chip brushes, I'd probably use them. Um, but I'm just using an old brush because with the sea spray and the texture in this, um, I don't want to ruin any of them because I'm going to be, well, I'll show you, show you what I'm doing. Start on the side, so I've just got quite a bit on there. Linda, you'll be in the bar tonight doing a little bedside for charity today. Oh, lovely, what colour are you doing there? I could do with the bar night. I'm ever so confused what day it is. Pam, 5.27 a.m., wow, that's early. I would have been fast asleep at that time. Um, yeah, I thought it was Wednesday today. I've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> so I'm just sort of... Applying this in a bit of a rough fashion, we don't want a smooth surface obviously, that's why we've added the, the sea spray. Look at this colour, why haven't I used this before, it's gorgeous. You haven't decided on your colour yet Linda, oh no, you need to make your mind up. I'm like that all the time, I can never decide what I'm doing with colours, there's too many to choose from. So yeah, as I say, just sort of applying it really rough, might even do some dabbing around, some swooshing. This is why, like I say, I wouldn't use sort of one of my top quality brushes because you're kind of battering them a little bit creating that texture. Now this is the base coat as I say, um, you will see a fair bit of it through hopefully but um, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because there's going to be lots of paint going on top of this as well. All of the beautiful pinks. I've actually started paint, um, packing a lot of my paints, which is, I like to have them all out so I can see what I've got, but um, half of them are packed away in, in my storage unit at the moment, so I can't get a hold of them. So I'm having to make do with the ones that I left out. Linda, I've, well, finally got a move date, I think, for next Friday. Linda's from Annie Love Day Furniture and um, she's probably been, she's one of my friends over here in the UK and she's been listening to me moaning on about my move. I've been trying to move since last, well, I agreed the sale on my house in September, <laughs> so it's been taking forever. But finally, I think next week I'll be in. So yeah, I'm doing like a crosshatch sort of effect and then just dabbling. It's just, it's just really random. Um, and it looks really messy at this stage, but that's fine because, as I say, there's a long way to go before it's finished and it will it will all come together in the end. You have to trust the process. If we were doing, if, if I did this really smooth, then you would struggle to, to get to see it um, with everything else over the top of it. I want the texture so that I can distress it in certain areas and bring this colour through. Linda say that's brilliant Laura. <laughs> thanks Linda I'm sorry if I've been moaning on about it for for months and months um I'll get there eventually my new workshop um at the new place it's it's actually bigger than what I've got here which is excellent um but it's not it's not sort of ready for what I need it for so I'm gonna have to do quite a lot of adaptions to it so actually when I move I'm going to be working out of the conservatory I think to start with and then um, I'll move into the garage which I, I need to get a new roof and everything put on before I can sort of get in there because it won't be watertight until then 
and then we'll be moving into the workshop once that's sorted but that's going to take a lot longer because I'm going to be rebuilding part of it um, putting new windows and doors in etc so it's going to be it's going to be quite a, an adventure um, but yeah you'll have to bear with me if you're watching my lives and things because it's going to be all a bit over the place but as I say it'll be worth it in the long run can you see how textured that is there's a lot of texture in there I'm just kind of again just dabbing it all over move on to the other side just move some peaks um, I am looking forward to getting the next layer on here after I've put this base coat on because I will be as I say putting all the pinks on with the Gator High Sponge um, so I'll show you what I do there to get a nice effect where you've got all the different pinks and then you've got this mint julep showing underneath hi Chafo everything keeps um, going wrong today cut up all the transfers that I want to put on so I'm just so excited to get to that stage but <laughs> I've got quite a long way until I can put those on so just gotta get on with it get it done and then again I will come on again and show you what I'm doing with those Coming back on, guys. I don't know what was going on there, but um, I just had the post lady come as well. She was waving at me through the window. Okay. I love this colour. I've used most of the colours now, but this one. Shame that this one's this this colour is going to be. I mean, like I say, you'll be able to see it obviously underneath, but it's a shame that it's going to be just space colour. I think I need to find a, a piece for it to take centre stage. stencils on the inner drawers um, so if you want to see anything like that then go and follow me at Cherub's Chalks Interiors on Facebook, Instagram all the places hi Connie I'm back again on here for the third time 
Just applying um, some mint julep that I've mixed with the sea spray, the base layer. I'm using, uh, see Connie you're on there, right? I'm using the Boho Soul Transfer on this eventually. I've seen that you're, you've got a piece that you're working on with that, haven't you? I'm really excited about that one, it's so pretty. All the nice colours. brush like I said I'm not sort of bothered about it but I will as soon as I finish go and rinse it out so that I can use it again just to do this with Two Connie Clarks watching me, that's confusing. <laughs> How are you both of you? Right, I'm going to stand up for you to see. So, yeah, I'm just nearly finished with this bit, and then, as I say, I'll leave this to dry it at least overnight, really. I mean, I'm impatient, so sometimes I don't wait as long as I should, but um, I've got lots of things on my plate at the moment to carry on with, so yeah, I'll leave this overnight and then crack on with the pinks tomorrow. I can't see. Yeah, basically, you can just have those fun with this because it doesn't matter if it's messy. Just go crazy. That's what I do anyway. So the um, couple of the other pieces I'm working on, I'm going for a smoother finish. So I thought I'd just let myself go wild with this one. I can't see. I think people are talking to me and I can't see what you're saying. <sighs> You thought you were seeing things, Connie. <laughs> well, I know my friend Connie is from the UK. What about the other Connie? <laughs> Connie, where are you from? I'm sort of very carefully, smoothly painting them, but this one, this one's just fun to do. Let my hair down and get messy. I need to move closer so I can see what you were saying. USA, New Jersey. Ah, so there's an American Connie Clark and an English Connie Clark. Sorry about the um, whatever was going on earlier. Like I say, I think my Facebook closed down, and then then I had a phone call, and it's not very good, is it? Next time I'll I'll make sure everybody leaves me alone. And <laughs> what are you doing? Missed the beginning. Hi, yeah. Um, so I'm just at the moment. I am putting on the sea spray that I mixed with mint julep. 
to make a textured finish. Um, this is just the base. And then I'm going to be going over with some pinks. Um, that'll probably be tomorrow. I can pop on here again, or I might do it on my my own Facebook page, which is the Cherub's Chalks Interiors. Um, and then I'll be distressing so that you can see this lovely colour popping through. And uh, yeah, it looks a bit mad right now, but it will all come together eventually. Time, my favourite time of the day. Okay. Thanks, Connie. Yep, yeah, so that's that really. That's the first sort of coat um, on the main body of the chest of drawers. And I'll go away now and work on the actual drawers. And then catch you all soon with the next part. Mint julep is so pretty. It is. I've not used it before. I don't know why. It's lovely. Um, yeah, I need to make sure that I can really see it once I've put the, the pinks over the top. I want to. I want it to show through because it's gorgeous. Right, so that's all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining, and I will be back soon and um, show you the next process, the next part of the process. Thanks, bye.